the name of Jesus. It is not what we call him that matters, but who he is. The name provides him with no power, but he certainly empowers the name. But at the time of his birth, the name of Jesus was in no way unique. In fact, it was a very popular name for boys. Jesus is just the Greek equivalent of Joshua, which means God saves. It recalled the great leader of Israel who succeeded Moses, leading the Israelites into their promised land. It's not surprising then that the name of Joshua, Jesus, was so popular. Whose idea was it to call the child Jesus? Well, the word came from God himself. Like any father, he wanted to name his own son. The reason for the name Jesus was that he will save his people from their sins. The name then bore the mission statement, one of salvation for the bearer's people. But the name of Jesus is different. It says to us, mission accomplished. We could never find words to state more simply or more powerfully what Jesus means to us and all that he has done for us. Think of it this way. If you were to try and state the most profound and essential truth known to humanity in two words, how would you do it? Let me suggest that you could never do better than God saves. Our Heavenly Father was very deliberate when he designated that message as the name for his only begotten Son. It is as if he wanted to be absolutely sure that no one missed the point. What's in a name? For now we must agree that a wealth of meaning lies in the simple name of Jesus. There is meaning in the fact that God chose a name of past significance. Joshua was the one who led the children of Israel into their land of promise, their essential legacy, after many years of slavery, grief, and rootless wandering. There is meaning in the simple fact that God chose a common name. In every way, the mission of his son was to identify with people of all kinds. People of the time looked for someone bigger than life. They expected a conqueror. They didn't expect a peasant, a village carpenter, clothed in humility and servanthood. Philippians 2 tells us, though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. And there is meaning in the name of Jesus now and for eternity. Jesus himself promised us that whatever we might ask in his name would be granted there is salvation in no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Acts 4. The name of Jesus, easy enough for a small child to say, simple enough to be the last hopeful word upon dying lips, powerful enough to bring us through any storm, through all the intervening years. Jesus, God saves, is the greatest and most powerful word humanity has ever known and it is the final word that will be spoken when this earth and its history are finally closed and when you and I gather together in a better place. For together, we will join hands and bow knees upon that day, every one of us, and pay homage to the greatest name in heaven or on earth, Jesus. Mm -hmm.